गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम शैलेंद्र ओझा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस करेंट मिरर्स एक्चुअली व्हाट आर करेंट मिरर्स एंड व्हाई वी नीड दिस काइंड ऑफ सर्किट्स दैट विल डिस्कस टुडे इफ यू विल टॉक अबाउट आईसीज इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट एंड इन केस ऑफ बायसिंग ऑफ आईसीज वी नीड कॉन्स्टेंट करेंट सोर्सेस एंड दैट कॉन्स्टेंट करेंट can be provided with the help of current mirrors this is the uh, need of current mirror circuit and we'll see why we will use this circuit how and how current mirror circuits can provide constant current that we'll discuss so if I, first of all we will discuss uh, <coughs> basic mosfet current mirror you can see there are two mosfets one is this another one is this and if i will talk about the <coughs> current drain current of mosfet it is equal to half k n s w y l v g s minus v t whole square this half k n s w y l v g s minus v t whole square so in this case we are considering that output current is flowing here and we have uh, taken this reference register and this is the supply voltage vdd and due to this some uh, reference current is flowing here and due to uh, this reference current and this voltage some current will flow at the <coughs> drain of transistor q2 and we will derive the relationship between this i not and i reference you know i not is equal to or i i can say that drain current for mosfet is equal to half k n s w l v g s minus v t whole square so if i will consider uh, this transistor q2 and q1 then we will get half k n s w y l1 v g s minus v t whole square i can consider it as i not and another one is id1 or i can say i reference so it will be equal to half k n s w by l 2 vgs minus vt whole square if i will take their ratios then i will get i not upon i reference is equal to it will be cancelled out it will be cancelled out it will be equal to the W by L V not V G S minus V T because it, because it will be cancelled out. So I not upon I reference will be equal to W by L two upon W by L one, where W is the width of channel and L is the length of channel in the MOSFET. So uh, this uh, Factor I not upon I reference will be proportional to the respective values of W by L, and what will be the value of this reference current? Reference current will be equal to this V D D minus if I will follow this path. Okay, this is V G S then V D D minus V G S divided by this. register r and we all know that uh, <coughs> for providing constant current that means uh, id is equal to half k n s w y l v g s minus v t whole square this formula is applicable in only one case that is the transistor or mosfet must operate in saturation region so to operate uh, transistor q2 in saturation region this is the condition v not should be equal to vgs minus vtn where vtn is the threshold voltage of n mos because we are using n mos in this case and <coughs> in other words we can say that it is a, it should be greater than the overdrive voltage where what is the overdrive voltage the overdrive voltage is equal to vgs minus vt you can see there is one more circuit and this circuit is called as mos current steering circuit and this circuit can provide uh, the output at various levels so you can see that this is uh, th there are various uh, uh, combination of current mirror circuits 
any circuit which is looking like this will be the current mirror circuit okay which can provide you constant output current so in this case you can see that this combination of q1 and q2 is making one current mirror circuit and the combination of this q1 and q3 is also making another current mirror circuit and these two combination of q4 and q5 are making another combination of current mirror circuit and this whole circuit is called as current steering circuit which can provide multiple outputs okay so now let us see what should be the value of the current i2 i3 and i5 that we'll see so <clears throat> now we all know that the ratio of current is proportional to the respective w by l ratio which is also called as aspect ratio so <clears throat> this i2 upon i reference so it will be equal to w by l2 upon w by l1 Similarly, if I will consider the combination of this I3 and I reference, then I3 upon I reference should be equal to W by L3 upon W by L1 and it was equal to W by L2 upon W by L1. And you can see that this current is flowing inside the transistor Q2. So, this is called as current sink. And this making another uh, current mirror circuit, another current mirror. And this current I4 is equal to I3. And in this case, I5 is coming out from the Q5. So, this circuit or this, this is, uh, this is called as current source. Even you can increase more number of stages. Okay. And these are the conditions so that the transistor Q3 and Q5 will operate in the saturation region. V drain of transistor 2 and drain of transistor 3 should have voltage greater than equal to minus Vss plus Vgs1 minus Vt1 and vd2 and vd3 in other words we can say that it is equal to minus vss and it is equal to v over time voltage this is actually minus vss this is vd so simply uh, we know the condition of uh, operating the transistor in saturation region also i4 uh, and I5, I4 and I5, their ratio will be proportional to the respective W by L ratio. And again, it is the condition to operate Q5 in saturation region. So, at this point, uh, or uh, we can say that we have simply discussed the basic MOS current mirror circuit. Now, let us discuss BJT current mirror circuit. What are BJT current mirror circuits? This diagram is very similar to that of MOS current mirror circuit or MOS current mirror circuit. There is only one difference and that difference is we have replaced MOSFET by BJT. Rest everything is same. And due to this, its analysis will become different. We will see in this case, the dependency of current transfer ratio or dependency of I0 upon I reference on another factor, it will not be dependent on W by L because in this case, 
or in the case of BJT, WIL ratio does not exist. So, I must say that it is proportional to the ammeter base junction area that means I naught. This is I naught, this is I reference, and they will be proportional to the area of ammeter base junction of Q2 and area of ammeter base junction of Q1. So, this is the basic difference between MOS current circuit and BJT current mirror circuit. So, today onward we can remember that it will be proportional to or the current transfer ratio will be proportional to area of ammeter base junction of respective transistors in case of BJT and in case of MOS it will be proportional to the respective W by L ratios. So, you can get I naught is equal to I reference in case of MOSFET if W by L ratios are same. And if you want that I naught should be M times I reference, in that case you can choose the transistor Q2 which will have W by L ratio M times to that of Q1. This is one way. Another way is you can use M transistors in parallel and all of them will provide I naught is equal to I reference and when current will be added, it you will get M times of I reference and in second case, WL ratios will remain same. And in case of BJT, if you will choose transistor Q2, which will have area M times ammeter base junction area M times to that of Q1, ideally we can say that I naught will be equal to M times I reference, but practically we will not get it. Practically we will not get it. Or in other words, we can, uh, we can say that if you will choose two BJTs, which will have same area of ammeter base junction, then I reference will be equal to IC 1 plus 2 upon beta that we will see how we are getting it. Let us discuss why we are not getting uh, I naught is equal to I reference in case of BJT. Conceptually, we can say that in case of MOSFET, input impedance is infinite, so no current flows due to that I naught will be equal to I reference. And now we will see mathematically why we are not getting I naught is equal to I reference. So, let us analyze this circuit. This is I reference. Let us consider IC current is flowing in this terminal. You know, <coughs> this is base current, this is base current. IC is equal to beta IB. So, IB will be equal to IC upon beta. Due to this, the current flowing in the base of transistor Q1 will be IC upon beta. Current which is, which is flowing in the base of transistor Q2 will again be equal to IC upon beta. So, the current which is flowing in this branch will be the addition of these two that means 2 IC upon beta. Now, if you know the base current then or uh, collector current, then you can find out the emitter current or in other words, we can say that IC is equal to, uh, oh sorry, IE is equal to IC plus IB. So, you can add these two currents, IC plus IC upon beta, you will get this is the emitter current. Okay. So, now you can find out the current transfer ratio. 
I naught upon I reference. I naught is equal to I C and what is the value of I reference? I reference is this current and it will be the addition of the current which is flowing in this branch and the current which is flowing in this branch. So, I reference will be simply equal to I C plus 2 I C upon beta. So, when you will put it, you will get it and I C and I C will be cancelled out. So, it will be equal to 1 upon 1 plus 2 upon beta. And this is the condition which is achieved when Q1 and Q2 both are of similar type. That means, both are match transistors or we can say that their emitter base junction area is same. That means, even if you are choosing two transistors which are of similar kind, in that case also I0 will not be equal to I reference. It will be dependent on beta. All of you are familiar with beta. Beta is the ratio of IC and IB. Ideally, or uh, if we we'll consider beta is equal to infinite, then this factor will be 0 and I naught upon I reference will be equal to 1 when, when beta will be equal to infinite. So, we can say uh, ideally, ideally we always want that I naught should be equal to I reference, but practically we are not getting it. Why? We have seen this. So, let us analyze this. What is this? What is happening here? What is the effect of beta? Uh, <coughs> Actually, if beta will keep on increasing, then deviation of I naught from I reference will be the minimum. That means, we can say that the error introduced in the current transfer ratio or error introduced in I naught and I reference will be the minimum. And when beta will decrease, there will be more deviation in I naught from I reference. Okay. <clears throat> and if you will uh, consider emitter based junction area EBJ of Q1 and EBJ of Q2 m times then current transfer ratio will be equal to I naught upon I reference equal to M upon 1 plus M plus 1 upon beta. <coughs> and output resistance is equal to del V naught upon del I naught that we all know. And RO2 can also be represented as VA2 upon I naught that means early voltage of transistor 2. And one more thing is this that we always want that there should be less dependency on beta. That means, if somehow actually we cannot make I naught is equal to I reference, but we can make few circuits that will provide less dependency on beta. That means, there will be a very less deviation in I naught from I reference. These type of circuits are called as circuits with improved performance or circuit with base current compensation. Actually, there are two kind of requirements in current mirror circuits. One requirement is there should be a less dependency on beta for the current transfer ratio. And another requirement is it should provide more output resistance. There are few circuits, they have some particular name. They can provide less dependency on beta, like Wilson uh, or we can say that there are few circuits which will provide improved performance in terms of R naught and I naught upon I reference. 
the circuits are particularly their names are Widlar current mirror circuits and Wilson current mirror circuit. This is what uh, which will we have already seen. This is the current mirror circuit. So, for example, uh, this is the same that means I naught upon I reference is equal to we have already seen 1 upon 1 plus 2 upon beta. In this case, uh, you can choose whatever value of I reference you want. How you can choose? Because in this case, I reference is equal to VCC minus VBE upon R. VCC minus VBE upon R, where R will be the precision register and whichever value of uh, current you want, you can choose proper value of VCC and register R. Okay. And in case of the circuits which provides improved performance, this uh, factor becomes I naught upon I reference becomes 1 upon 1 plus 2 upon beta square. And you can see in this case, dependency is less on the beta. So, this is what which we have to discuss today. Thank you.